And you may have been shopping in one of his stores, by the way. He creates locks and livable interiors that are seriously designed, but don't take themselves too seriously. Here with a look at his latest project and how you can freshen up any space with a little modern American glamour. Please welcome Jonathan Adler. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, how are you guys? We're great. We're, great. we're so honored to have you here today. And you've had a packed schedule in Houston. We appreciate that. Earlier today, you were speaking. Talk to me about that event here in Houston. Um, yeah, I was here in Houston speaking for the design week, I was at the Design Center um, celebrating my collaboration with the Shade Store, and I spoke to fellow design professionals about my life, my career, and my design odyssey, which you see arrayed before you today. And here's some video, by the way, from the decorative Houston Fall Market, where you gave the keynote this morning. Uh, you're one of the biggest names in design, Jonathan, and I think your, your backstory is so interesting, because people here in Houston have been to your store on Westheimer and Kirby, they've seen that your style uh, doesn't take itself too seriously. You're, you're never afraid to add a bit of panache and sparkle here and there, but I wanna back up to when you were raised in a little smart, uh, farm town in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, I, so I grew up in a farm town in New Jersey. I touched clay at summer camp when I was 12, and from that moment, it was on. I knew I had to be a potter, and now here I am. Many years later, I won't say how many, because um, there are a lot of years. Um, and I've made a career as a potter, and I've turned that from just making pottery into making every type of furnishing for the home, from pillows to rugs to lighting, sofas, um, and all with my signature style, which I call modern American glamour. I love that. And this is an example on how to spruce up any room in your house. And what I love, too, is that kind of one of your mantras is not to take yourself too seriously. And we should really do that when we're adding pieces into our home, right? Um, yeah, well, it's funny. I actually, I, if I say I don't take myself seriously, I'm lying. Um, <laughs> I think I try to appear um, less serious than I actually am. I, I, as a designer, I'm extraordinarily serious and rigorous about what I do. As a person, I might be a little less so. I love it. We love, well, and also, your first store opened in 1998. Now, less than 20 years later, you've got 30 stores. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so great to think of you as a little kid working on a potter's wheel. By the way, you had a professor who told you you had no talent as a potter and you should do something else? That is real news, guys. Um, yeah, but you know what? I, I think it's always good for someone to have a, a naysayer to rebel against. So I was lucky enough to have a mean professor who told me not to do this. But whatever, that was a long time and you ago proved now him wrong. now here I am and you rollerbladed to the to the potter studio every morning to make pottery <laughs> you were you were playing old tapes during my youth <laughs> During my youth, when I didn't have a, a fully developed sense of danger, I used to rollerblade around New York City. You know the oh hardest part gosh. about rollerblading? Telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> really? Good one, right? That's a good I have three one. pairs of rollerblades. I love it. I do it all the time. It I was love it. So fun. I'm sorry it fell out of fashion because it was really great. And somebody actually made fun of me for rollerblading. They were like, oh, that's so gay. And then I thought to myself, you know what? People who hated disco missed out on the party. Yeah. So you got to embrace those things while they're happening. Oh, I loved rollerblading. So right? Fun. It's fun. Yeah. Good yeah. exercise, too. Yeah. Let's talk about your newest venture, too, because now you're into fabric and window coverings. Talk to me about that, because that's a whole different ball game for you. Yeah, well, I'm thrilled to be collaborating with the Shade Store, which is like the go-to place for window treatments. Um, I've been using them for years. I've spent a lot of money at the Shade Store, so luckily I'm getting a little bit of it back. They're pretty, um, I love they're that gorgeous. design. gorgeous, yes. Yeah, when, you know, window treatments are like a varsity undertaking, and they're intimidating, and I think the Shade Store is the place to go to conquer your fear of window treatment. So I'm thrilled to be working with them and bring my signature patterns and palette to the window. And so, I, I do love that because it's one of those items I think in our home that we kind of are afraid to go and we just leave it alone just yeah. because we don't know. Well, I'm here to help and the love window that. and the uh, shade store is here to help as well. And do people, are, are they able just to pick out whatever fabric they want and then it's custom made according to size and um, style? B yes, and we can, we can do some custom or um, just choose from my palette and of patterns. Very, very cool. Can we take a look at some of the things that are on our set today, starting with these pillows? Yes. This is actually almost like a metal detailing on yeah, it. Yeah, those right? are actual brass beads mm, that are gorgeous. hand embroidered in India. And I use lots of brass, and I'm obsessed with craftsmanship. So um, these pieces are a great way to add a little bit of sparkle to your sofa. Um, 
I think throw pillows are always like my go-to trick for adding a little surprise and some bling and newness to any house. Yeah. I love these too. And I'm, I love color. I love pops of color. Our house is mostly white, but I love just kind of that surprise. These are amazing. Thank you. Yeah, you know, back to varsity decorating concerns. Obelisks are a varsity decorating move that everyone should strive to embrace because they're like an obelisk, which is this kind of form. It's like the shape of the uh, Washington Monument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, are great flanking a fireplace. They're great on a desk. Um, and I like to make them a little bit more colorful and impactful than normal. Jonathan, what's the term you just used? Varsity design choice? What yep. was that? Varsity. Varsa and does that just mean making a bold move in design? It just means, it just means some, you know, some, some challenges are kind of junior varsity and then the next level up is varsity. Like most people wouldn't know what to do with an obelisk. I know that it is for flanking a fireplace. Okay. You so need to be on the varsity team to understand. So do you that. always like need it. two, one on either side? I mean, if you're buying them from me, you should buy two. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <Got it. laughs> so let's move on to some of these beautiful. Are, are these also brass? These are brass, and um, I actually make the models for these in my studio in New York. I make them out of clay and then cast them in brass. And I am obsessed with hands. I kind of like to introduce surrealism into my work. So I say, get a little handsy with your tablescape. Mm -hmm. um, with my signature hand thingies. So you personally design these in your pottery studio? I personally do it. <laughs> yes. I love it. That so you I'm... still have that touch, even though you are big time, you still have that, that touch. Some people lose that. Yeah, no, I, I would like to lose it, but I'm still <laughs> keeping still working. it totally real. I am a potter, and I'm lucky to have a design career and business that enables me to be as creative as I want to be. So, yeah, the making stuff is my favorite part. The, the business part is a means to allow me to be creative. See, that makes me like your stuff even more, right. because I've got the miniature golden banana. I've got some of the partridge birds, I the llama. I have the llama. Prozac container. Oh, nice. We have Very a lot important. of your stuff, yeah. so knowing that you had a key in designing. You, you designed every piece. Is yeah. you know, I'm sure glad. Them for well, you thank to you sign. for your thank you for your purchase. Oh yeah, handy. I love this. Yes, Great. so amazing. Well, you know, what? no one ever can figure out what to do with their dining table when it's right. just sit, like you know, if you don't have it all set up, you need some sort of centerpiece that ideally is kind of low and owns the table. And I think this hand bowl is just the ticket. And green apples always. It's okay, fantastic. just about a minute left, but I want to uh -oh. talk about these uh, candles. Last two. These the are coasters. great gift ideas as well. Yeah, I, um, at Jonathan Adler, I strive to be the go-to place for gifts at every price point. You know, I make some super expensive and fancy furniture, but you can also get stuff for as little as 24 bucks, um, or you can get these coasters that are very giftable and come in nifty packages. The packaging so, is great. It is. Just yeah. stick a bow on top of this thing and you're good to go. And exactly. I do want to mention that you are part of the holiday shopping card, which is going on right now, so you can save 20% off at Jonathan Adler's store, and uh, this benefits the American Cancer Society. So a great charity. You're a charitable man. We appreciate you coming on, and um, this is my personal one, so okay. going to use it at the store, of course. So. Great. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, well, everyone should come down to my West Ave store, check it out, um, and visit the Shade store to see my collaboration. And I'm so glad I got to spend time with y'all. You I are know. so nice, Chuck. Welcome to Houston. Thank glad you. to have Houston. you. Please come back anytime. I will. Go to Astros. You. Yes. Go All right. Astros. That's right. And a reminder, you can check out Jonathan's new collection of roller shades at the Shade store. And Jonathan's Houston store is, again, located in River Oaks off Kirby Drive and Westheimer. Jonathan, thank you again. Safe travels. Thank Safe you, travels. guys. Thanks for coming in. Bye. Well, I don't know about you, Derek, but I'm feeling a little parked.